welcome back to the lecture series of electric power system so in previous lecture we discussed about generation of electrical energy in that lecture we discussed about various generating methods of electrical energy various types of power plants where it is generated and we also discussed about the level of voltage at which electric electrical energy is being generated at power plant so in continuation with that this is the second lecture and in this lecture we will be discussing about transmission and distribution of that generated electrical energy so as we are aware that uh, there are uh, numerous power plants generating stations are available in the country and uh, all those generating stations are uh, quite far away from the utilization center it means the electrical energy which we are utilizing it is being generated at a power plant and that power plant is actually can be much far away from us more than 4 500 kilometers from us so that generated electrical energy is being brought to us with the help of a stage that is known as transmission of energy so all these uh, power plants all these generating stations are actually interconnected to each other with the help of a bus infinity bus that is known as infinity bus and this interconnection is known as grid so we have a huge national grid and this interconnection uh, improves the stability of the power system so let's uh, go through the basic elements again of the power system so we are we know that uh, generation transmission and distribution these three are the basic elements of the electric power system and most uh, transmission lines most uh, transmission lines are high voltage three phase ac type so we must have seen uh, while traveling we have seen that uh, on the road uh, we see huge uh, towers uh, that are actually high tension extra high voltage towers that carries a uh, three phase high tension uh, line hvdc technology is uh, uh, very efficient actually it is uh, quite efficient than this uh, ac transmission and uh, Uh, it takes a huge amount of initial investment so it is uh, not commonly used in uh, country these days but uh, somewhere it is used and uh, it is used uh, uh, when the range of transmission is more than 100 miles so we know that uh, electricity uh, when it comes to transmission uh, the voltage level of uh, electrical energy is quite uh, increased and uh, why it is increased to reduce those uh, i square r losses we have to increase the voltage level so what is the layout of power system power system contains these uh, uh, five major points power station primary transmission secondary transmission the, these are the two sub classes of uh, transmission stage and then we come to the primary distribution and secondary distribution so we in previous lecture we have covered this first point primary uh, power station so in this lecture we will be covering all those uh, four points transmission and distribution so here we can see that this is uh, showing the overall uh, Uh, all all those uh, stages of the power system here we can see that we have a generating station where the electricity is being generated and it is uh, generated around at 11 kv and before transmission before getting uh, transmitted we have to increase the level of that voltage what whatever it was generated so before transmission at the generating station we have a Uh, gener generating substation there we use a step up transformer and whatever the voltage is generated from the generator is being stepped up with the help of that step up trans transformer and then it is uh, transmitted over long distances 
so here we can see that uh, uh, this generating station generated 11 kV of voltage and then it was stepped up up to 132 kV and then it was uh, transmitted over long distances and when it comes to distribution then the voltage is uh, again uh, stepped down to the desired level of voltage and then uh, as per the desire it is uh, further stepped down and uh, sent to the utilization center so this is the single line diagram which we can uh, see and we can see all these uh, uh, stages this is the transmission stage this is primary distribution and this is secondary distribution so we will go in deep uh, with these uh, subclasses of uh, distribution and transmission in further slides So, as we have studied uh, what is power, st power station, power station is the power plant generating station, whatever we can say it. So, at power station, uh, generator generates three phase uh, electrical energy and it generates at the uh, various level of voltages. 11 kV, 266 kV can be generated from uh, uh, all those uh, recent generators. And those generator armature winding can deliver uh, thousands of uh, ampere current. So at power station, the voltage is generated around 11 to 66 kV and then it is uh, stepped up for further transmission. Now we come to primary transmission. So transmission itself can be classified into two subclasses, primary transmission and secondary transmission. This is actually transmission, but according to its voltage level, it can be classified in primary and secondary. So in primary transmission, the voltage range is about 66 kV to 132 or 400 kV and this transmit in with, with the help of this uh, sld single line diagram we can uh, understand it uh, clearly this is the generating stations we have and this is the step up transformer and this is transmission so this primary transmission is uh, actually for the large extra high voltage industries and uh, major substations and that uh, voltage is again stepped down at the receiving end substation and it is being sent to various uh, desired industries and uh, small scale substations so primary trans transmission is the higher voltage uh, transmission and uh, in this transmission tappings are provided to uh, large uh, industries and uh, major substations now coming to secondary distribution secondary transmission this transmission is uh, uh, around the voltage range of 66 to 33 kV in this uh, transmission those major substations are okay now when we talk about secondary transmission so this is a quite lower voltage kind of transmission and here the voltage range uh, may be from 33 kV to 66 kV. Uh, now practically if we talk about it, so uh, in this transmission, power is transmitted for some short uh, distances to substa substations and then it is sent to various uh, colonies and household commercial activities. Also this transmission covers those small consumers like factories manufacturing units now when we come now we come to distribution so distribution is also classified in primary distribution and secondary distribution so when we talk about primary distribution so with the help of this SLD we can uh, understand it clearly so here we can see that this is a 33 kV 
incomer incomer to this substation and this substation has stepped down that voltage to 11 kb and this 11 kb is being sent to uh, big consumers like factories and other small substations so this transmission this distribution of 11 kb line is comes under the primary distribution so again we are going through this primary distribution what happens uh, 66 kV or 33 kV is a step down to 11 kV and that is being sent to big consumers and uh, other small substations so this entire section is uh, is under primary distribution for example we see uh, transformers in our colonies in our campuses so that incomer of that uh, incomer for that transformer that 11 kv incoming line for that transformer is actually that primary distribution the transformer is giving us 440 volt of uh, three phase output but it is uh, getting input of 11 kv so that 11 kv that 11 kv line from substation to that particular transformer that uh, transmission that distribution comes under primary distribution and now finally we talk about the end distribution section that is the secondary distribution now that transformer that 11 kV input transformer will give us three phase 440 volt output so that's a distribution uh, transformer we see we have seen that transformer in our colonies in our campus uh, the incomer for that transformer is 11 kV three phase three wire it is delta two star transformer and it stepped down that 11 kV to 440 volt of uh, three phase three phase four wire system and that three phase four wire 440 volt is being sent to various uh, sections various houses and various sections of our campus wherever it is required uh, somewhere it is required as three phase somewhere it is required as single phase so as as requirement it is being distributed so this distribution of three phase 440 volt single phase is being uh, named as secondary distribution so this is the primary and the secondary distribution now so now alternatively we can uh, talk uh, about this distribution system we can classify a distribution system uh, as we have discussed in high voltage and low voltage distribution high voltage distribution system can be class uh, can be alternatively named as primary distribution system and low voltage distribution system can be called as secondary distribution system so this high voltage distribution system actually carries voltage of 33 to 11 kb that is the incomer of the distribution transformer and low voltage distribution is 442 to 230 volts that is the out output of the transformer so this is all about the transmission and uh, distribution of electrical energy so in this uh, lecture we had uh, walked through through transmission and distribution uh, of electrical energy we classify transmission in two subclasses primary and secondary transmission also we classify distribution in primary and secondary distribution system according to the range of voltage level so this is all about